semiconductor. Electrons orbit the nucleus at certain distance from the nucleus. Electrons near the nucleus have less energy than those in more distant orbits. Only discrete values of electrons' energies exist within atomic structure. Therefore, electrons must orbit only at discrete distance from the nucleus. Each discrete orbit from the nucleus corresponds to a certain energy level in an atom. Orbits are grouped into energy bands known as shells. A given atom has a fixed number of shells. Each shell has a fixed maximum number of electrons at permissible energy difference in energy between shells. The shell are designed K, L, M, M n and sun on with k being closest to the nucleus silicon and germanium atoms there are two types of semiconductor materials are used silicon and germanium and both atoms have four valence electrons silicon silicon has 14 protons in its nucleus germanium Germanium has 32 protons in its nucleus atomic bonding. When silicon atoms combine into molecules of form a solid materials, they arrange themselves in a fixed pattern called a crystal. The atoms within the crystal structure are held together bonds which created by interaction of the valence electrons of each atom. Each silicon atom position itself with four adjacent atoms covalent bonding of a pure intrinsic silicon crystal bonding for germanium is similar because it also has four valence electrons conduction in semiconductor materials the electrons of an atom can exist on within prescribed energy bands each shell around the nucleus corresponds to a certain energy band is separated from adjacent shells by energy gaps in which no electrons can exist for an unexcited silicon atom conduction electrons a pure silicon crystal at room temperature derives thermal energy from the surrounding air, causing some valence electrons to gain sufficient energy to jump the gap from the valence band into the conduction band, becoming free electrons when an electron jumps to the conduction band. A vacancy is left in the valence band. This vacancy is called a hole for every electron raised to the conduction band by thermal or light energy. There is one hole left in the valence band, creating what is called an electron hole pair recombination occurs when a conduction band electrons losses energy and falls back into in the hole in the valence band. Electron current. When a voltage is applied across a piece of silicon the free electrons in the conduction band are easily attracted toward the positive end. This movement of electrons is one type of current in a semiconductor material called electron current. Hole current. Holes created by free electrons exist. Electrons remaining in the valence band are still attached to their atoms and are not free to move randomly in the crystal structure. However, a valence electron can fall into a nearly hole with little change its energy level, thus leaving another hole where it came from effectively. The hole has moved from one place to another in the crystal structure. This current is called hole current.